Hey everybody, it's me. I want to apologize. I'm so sorry. I, I know I was supposed to post a video um, last week after my ultrasound appointment, but I just never got around to it, and I'm so sorry. And second, I look kind of horrible right now, and I, I usually don't, I, I usually, you know, try to look at least okay when I do these, but yeah, I don't really care right now. I've had like, uh, I don't know, I've been having a lot of dizzy spells today, and yeah. I almost fainted, so I don't know if my blood pressure is really high or really low or what exactly it is, but I'm just trying to take it easy and drink lots of water, and you know, hopefully I'll feel better tomorrow. So um, anyway, about the ultrasound, um, I was 17 weeks one day, um, we went in there, Travis got to come with me, and um, we went in there to do the ultrasound, and I asked the doctor, I was like, can we please find out the sex, because... Um, uh, some people say it's still too early at 17 weeks, but I knew it wasn't. So he said he would try, and um, as soon as he put the ultrasound probe on, um, we saw between the legs, and it's a little boy. So we are having a boy, and we are so excited. Um, I didn't care either way, boy or girl, but um, now that I know I'm having a baby boy, I'm, I'm really happy, and I'm so in love with him already. And um, I know he loves me and his daddy already. Um, the cool, really cool thing about um, about this baby is, I, I really, I really think that him and his dad are gonna have a strong bond. And you all can call me crazy and tell me it's too early for this, but I know it's not because we have a Doppler machine, like a home heartbeat machine, and. Um, we listen to the heartbeat usually every night, well, every night lately, because the reason we started doing it every night is because um, we were listening, I put the Doppler on, and my husband decided, you know, he was going to talk to my belly, and when I first put it on, before he started talking to the baby, um, it sounded like the baby was sleeping, you know, his heart rate, you know, was, well, it wasn't going too fast, you know, of course all babies' heartbeats go fast, but it wasn't going too fast, and um, he wasn't moving at all, and Travis got down there, and he was talking to my belly, and um, the baby just started kicking and moving around, and um, his heart rate sped way up, and he moved all the way to the other side of my belly of where Travis was talking. So I thought that was so cool, and um, Travis, I know at that instant, fell in love with the baby, who, by the way, we are calling Leo Aaron James. That'll be his... Um, first name and he'll have two middle names and Leo's after Travis's grandfather Aaron is my brother and James is after my father and then um, the baby's godfather's name is Stephen James so also after him so anyway we're both excited we're so in love with our little boy and it's just a miracle um, he's been kicking more and more and it feels like his little kicks are getting stronger I started feeling him kick about a week and a half ago and it's just now now I feel it every day, you know, at least a few times a day, and um, they're getting stronger. And um, just one time I've felt a kick outside with my hand on my belly, I felt him, him kick. But, um, of course, Travis wasn't around, so he couldn't feel it. And it's just been the one time, but I know as I get further along that um, I'll be feeling it more and more, and Travis will be able to feel it, hopefully, before he goes to Iraq. Which, speaking of Iraq... He, he's probably deploying um, sometime around Thanksgiving, and uh, I, I don't like to think about it, but I'm kind of forcing myself to have to accept the idea here because it's coming up so soon, and he is going to be gone for a year, and I know it's, it's really hard for me to cope with right now, especially in, you know, when, when everything else is going on with the baby and stuff like that. So, um... I, I have been kind of forcing myself to think about it and come to terms with the idea that my husband's not going to be here. And, you know, I know that I'm a strong woman, and I know that I can do this, and I am so thankful that God allowed me to get pregnant um, before Travis deployed because I don't think I would have anything else to occupy my time. I mean, of course I could get a job, and I'm still going to school, but to have this new little guy in my life, you know, to have Leo in my life and to be able to think about him and to feel him kick and know that this baby was created from our love is just a wonderful thing. So, 
I guess that's pretty much the update. Um, the baby's a boy. His name is going to be Leo. Um, Travis is deploying here soon. And I will keep you all updated. Um, here within the next day or two, I'm going to post a, a picture montage of our infertility journey and, and the pregnancy up to date. I haven't taken many belly pictures, but it, it'll be good. So watch out for it. And um, I, I hope you guys all enjoyed my video today. So, I'll catch you all later. Bye.